Mm. Why was he running? Eh? Why was he running? And he carried two people. Mm. Uh, so when we spoke to him, he decided to drop uh, uh, his bike you, and run away. You know, so he has to go back where his bike is. Yes, yeah, but did, did you hear what the president said he yesterday? Move. These are the people who never listen. You want to kill who? Jacob, eh? yes. Okay. Okay, so what's happening? I came this morning at around six. I found the place locked, the street empty. As you see, the situation is very meek. Um, no business. People are still surprised with what is happening. But due to the president directives, um, yeah, I see with the effect it's working. Um, we don't know when we shall show. With this, with the current situation, but we wait for further communication if possible. My name is Paul Mato. Uh, for the, the situation, we are not happy. The situation is not friendly with us, with all citizens. But uh, according to our president, he said that all shops must be shut down, but it's affecting people, it's affecting people. Though people are not, uh, not happy with that, with the situation. Drills number one, because most of them they don't have money. They have been dependent on their what? On their work, skills work, you know. So you find that people are getting difficult getting something to eat. You see, like us now, somebody he has come there to ask for for, for some kind of consumption, but it's not there because people are threatened. With that, with that solution, our president might find the solution. Uh, what How? solution do you think it, it will be good for us? Okay. There are two options which I would like to mention. Mm. One, if if the president wants people to stay at home, must provide things. One, including food. The two, to tell the land not to collect rent. At least for three months or two months. My name is Fiona Sylvia. Living here is Zulu. Uh, with what has been happening about coronavirus, it's really Sad. I know the president wants the best for us, but closing the businesses is really quite unfair. Why? We are looking at those people who are earning very low income, like let's say a mother earning 10k per day, and then when they need us to stock food, it's going to be very hard for such people to stock food. So I am looking ahead, there will be hunger, there will be a lot of theft because people will be stealing in order for them to survive. So I appeal to the president to do something at least supply maybe some food stuffs like kosher, like sugar to those families which are really not able to, mm. especially in villages.